Hello, I am Jonathan Peter, and today I'm going to explain to you about the history of the Doksugun Palace. The history of the Doksugun Palace started from the Japanese invasion. The Japanese invasion started in 1592. Because of the Japanese invasion, the Joseon Dynasty had to lose their their main palace, such as Gyeongbokgung. After winning the war against the Japanese, the Joseon Dynasty came back to their palace and retook their capital. However, there was nothing left in their capital. However, also there needed to be a place for the king to stay, and the stay was chosen as Prince Wolsan's house. This is the basic of Prince Wolsan's house, which is called now Doksugung. However, after Sonjo used the Doksugung, uh, the Doksugung was very vacant for a few hundred years because the many and many kings after did not use the Doksugung palace. That is because the Gyeongbokgung, the main palace, had been rebuilt. The many kings used just used the Gyeongbokgung again and not the Doksugung. However, Gojong returned to the Doksugung palace after a few hundred years, and the reason was because of the Ulmi Sabya. That was an incident made by the Japanese who killed the Gojong's wife. This is the place where Gojong's wife was killed which is called Gonchonggo. The Japanese has thought of uh, Gojong's wife, the queen, to be a very threat of on their plan of colonizing Korea, so the Japanese just killed the wife. Because of the threat, King Gojong felt really threatened, and he decided just to move away to the Doksugung palace. Even after King Gojong removed to the to the Doksugung palace, the threat was not ended, as many suspect, suspect. This is the place where the 1904 big fire happened in Doksugung palace. Many, some people say that this, the Korean Ondo, Korean traditional boiling system called the Ondor, is the place where the fire first started. However, because all of the surrounding of the Ondors are rock, there is no place for the forest park to go on to the woods. Therefore, many believe that the Japanese just tried to kill the Gojong by putting the, putting the building in fire. However, Gojong didn't die. However, after some time, King Gojong was out of the throne and the Tokugong was never used properly again. And also, to for a little bit of more information, during the 1904 big fire, there was a great amount of loss in the Doksugung palace. Because of the many of the Doksugung palace's loss, there is only 25% left of what was first built. Thank you for listening to my explanation of the history of the Doksugung palace. Thank you for listening.